What is up guys, it's Justin here and welcome to my apartment office tour which is something that I've been spending the last few months putting together. So first off, this office is in the master bedroom of the apartment. I honestly don't need that big of a bedroom but I do need a big office so I decided to use the master bedroom and just sleep in the guest room. The last time I did an office tour was at my parents' house about two years ago, but I moved out a couple months ago and just having to put together a new office once again was something that I wasn't sure what to do with. I think I do have it at a point that I'm pretty happy with though, and you might notice that the two desks are from the featured setup tours that I did in the summer and decided to keep them because I really enjoyed working at it. As always, I'm going to leave all the links of the products mentioned, featured, and shown in this office in the description section below, and I also want to give away some of the products in the office to you guys. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this video, and also drop a comment down below, and when this video hits 2500 likes, I'm going to pick a winner in the comments. Beginning with the main desk, this is a desk from Structube, and it's a good size in fitting my ultra-wide display, my 15-inch Mac, and anything else I have to put on the table. The monitor I'm currently using is the LG 34UC98 and I absolutely love it because from a productivity standpoint for video timeline editing, it is just perfect. After getting this monitor, I don't think I can go back to anything else. My primary computer for video editing is a MacBook Pro 15 inch with touch bar from 2017 that has the upgraded processor and also graphics. Although it isn't perfect by any means, it is able to handle video editing in 4K very nicely and I rely on it every single day. As for the speakers, I still have the Audio Engine A2 Plus because they sound great, they also don't take up that much space, but they still have a very powerful sound to it and it fills the room very nicely. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you might notice that these have been on quite a few setups now, but I just love them that much. As for my peripheral combo, I have the Apple Magic Keyboard as well as the Logitech MX Master 2S mouse, and I've been using this line for quite a few years now because for video editing, it is just so comfortable and convenient. The second setup is definitely more of a workstation or a study area because I wanted something that just faces the window and takes in all the light that this place has to offer. I just have a simple IKEA desk with IKEA legs and also the IKEA drawer unit just to store some stuff on the side, but for the most part, aside from the lamp that I have there, I have my MacBook Pro or my iPad just for work or just to have breakfast in the morning. I'm a big believer in natural light and my main desk definitely gets a little bit hectic when I'm reviewing a lot of products or have a lot of videos to make, so it's nice just to have a clean desk or workstation in the space. I originally had the idea of setting up a bar that goes across the entire span of the room, but that was just too much work, it would cost a lot of money and not nearly as versatile as having a table on wheels. The file cabinet next to the table definitely makes it look a bit more complete and on top of that I could store some of my hard drives and just some magazines I normally use for filming. The lights that I'm currently using in the office is a Senglet Element Classic Smart Home LED Starter Kit and what I like about this is that you can control it from your device very easily but because it has a hub it is very reliable. These white bulbs are 800 lumens each, and because they're LED, they use 80% less power than normal light bulbs. You can connect up to 60 light bulbs and control all the individual bulbs from anywhere using the Senglad app. You also have the option to set a schedule for the individual lights as well. But one unique feature that this does have is that you can control it with your voice using Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Senglad offers this light bulb in a few different kits, and considering my room relies on lamps only, this is something that I definitely like to use, and I'll leave a link down below. I would also like to give them a huge thanks for partnering with me for this video. The third setup in the space was one that you guys saw in the Minimalist Student Setup Tour, and I just really liked the feel of it, so I decided to keep it around despite it not being used that much at all. It features a 31 and a half inch HP monitor which looks pretty awesome and in total I currently have about 7 or 8 monitors just sitting around at my parents house office and I kind of just decided to keep one here in the meantime. My secondary computer for school and just on the go is a MacBook Pro 13 inch with touch bar from 2017 the base model and that is what I normally have hooked up to this setup and having a 31 and a half inch is great just to use as a workstation as well but honestly this is more of a space for whenever someone else comes to work or when my editor is in town. The keyboard is a Logitech K380 which is very simple but also a budget option and I think the blue look just adds nice contrast to the desk. On the other hand, the mouse that I'm using is a Logitech MX Anywhere 2 mouse in the blue color which I also use as my portable mouse. The leather desk mat from Ikea I think looks really good as well and just adds a bit of a contrast to the setup. Garbage cans are normally really ugly but the one from Simple Human here looks amazing and it kind of just matches the entire space and feel to it along with the light on the other side. This garbage can also blocks some of the wires that are going to the back, so that's also nice. Despite the setup just having a couple cables running out of it, I still didn't want to see them, so I decided to go a little bit crazy, and I drilled an IKEA TB cable cover unit down the back, and that goes into an IKEA wire box. I think these two items together cost less than $20, so if you really want to hide your cables, then this is a great solution. The main chair in this office is a Herman Miller in body, and I'm honestly just a big fan of Herman Miller products, and this has become one of my favorite pieces of the space. 
For the past few years, I've had a custom Herman Miller air on and that's been amazing, but I just really wanted to check out the Embody and a huge thanks to Herman Miller for sending this for my space. The Embody chair itself is best known for its back fit adjustment because it is literally the shape of like a human spine and sort of looks like one in a way as well. This makes a chair very form fitting and the second that you sit down, you kind of feel like it sort of forms to the shape of your body. As a result, if you're someone like me who sits for six to eight hours, even after a long period of time, you don't feel much fatigue at all. From a health standpoint, that is very important, and despite the chair costing quite a bit of money, you're definitely paying for quality, and it is a no-brainer in terms of investing in something if you sit a lot. On the Herman Miller website, you have the option to customize the color both in terms of the frame and the fabric, and there's just so many options, and they all look amazing. On the corner of the office, you're gonna see a gear cart, and that is essentially something that I can wheel around and store all of my battery and charging stations along with miscellaneous supplies that I just wanna grab and go. I don't think it looks bad at all, but it really does keep a lot of the cable clutter out of the general area of the space. A piece of tech that I have a lot in the office and also keeps the entire apartment clean because this place does get really dusty is the Eufy RoboVac 11 Plus. This is a robot vac that essentially goes around and serves as a vacuum picking up all of the dust and my entire place is hardwood floor so that is important. It has a 3 point cleaning system, a battery life of up to 100 minutes which is more than most that I've seen. It also has a remote that allows you to control the different modes but also sets schedules and also control it manually. But I think the most compelling thing is that this comes in at under $250 and if you look at a lot of robot vacuums out there they cost significantly more and this one gets a job done very well so that was the core area of the office but this of course was the master bedroom so there is a small area where there is two closets one on each side that is meant for couples but because i'm single and pretty much living in this place by myself i have like seven closets so i use a space for gear and just products in general the apartment also has a den though which is normally used as an office so i use that as a primary storage space for products and i might do a separate video showing you guys that as well Towards the back of the room though, of course there is the bathroom which has two sinks which are both mine. There's also a shower and also the bathtub and this is where I kind of just have all my stuff laid out. It's not really tidy but whatever. The secondary bathroom in the space has like a shower that's double the size so I just use that and then put everything over here. Of course, the night vibe is a very important part of the setup because I often do edit late at night. Actually, that's when I do most of my editing. So I wanted to focus on a setup format that looks good at night as well. So of course I do have LED strips, but I just want to show you this room and what it looks like at night with the city lights that you can see through the window. And I think just having that makes the creative flow much better. I don't think LED strips are something that you should be spending a lot of money on. So I just use ones from Amazon and they seem to be pretty reliable, but make sure you check out the reviews. Other than that, this has just been a tour of my apartment office tour and I'm generally pretty happy with it, but I do want to add some decor and that is really what took so long to get this video out. I just really didn't know what to add and although simplicity is a really good thing, I kind of just felt like it was too simple but at the end of the day, this is what I have right now and I've kind of kept it the same way for the past few months. Definitely leave your comments down below though and also make sure you have post notifications on because I'm also working on my setup tour for the living room and also the entire apartment. But that's it for this video and I left a link down below to everything mentioned and I'll see you all in the next one.